Look, I'm not saying it's a $1,600 Dynasty. Because a Miller Dynasty doesn't have a plasma cutter with an onboard air compressor. But seriously, the CT2050 has a lot more features than we're used to seeing from Yes Welder, and I'm testing them out one video at a time. So let's switch the mode over to DC TIG and set it up. Let's give it like 0.3 seconds of pre-gas just to get any oxygen out of the lead. And I'm going to weld it about 140 amps as I weld a scrap stainless flange. Let's give it a three second downslope and seven seconds of post flow to cool that weld down. Not as many settings as the top tier welders, but a huge step up from their old machines that just have an on off switch and an amp knob. And for this demo, I am plugged into 240. I wanted to see if 200 actually felt like 200, so I cranked it the whole way up and ran over three one eighth inch stainless wires. And it was actually a little too hot for those activities, A plus. Now I'm gonna turn the amps way down, switch it over to pulse and see how stable that arc is. Just push that knob for about three seconds, your settings pop up, your on pulse. Amps are still I1. I'm going to set that to 20. Background amps is I2. I'm going to 8. I set two pulses per second with a 50% duty cycle. She welded those razor blades pretty easy. I cranked it back up to play around with the pulse even more. The duty cycle is 100% at 200 amps, but if you're plugged into 110, it's 100% at 160 amps. The dial on the torch only works while you're pressing the button making it kind of a two-handed operation. They do sell a separate foot pedal. If this video gets a thousand shares, I'll get that to test and let you know if it's worth a hundred bucks. If you want to see me cut some plasma and compare the onboard air compressor to an external compressor, be sure to interact with this video.